Hello everyone, Emily here. I'm going to draw you a portrait today. Normally I try and not do portraits because I find them I find them difficult, but ironically that's what I normally do as a commission piece for people. So they pay me to do faces. And I would say that's the hardest part for me to do, faces. Love doing everything else, faces is tricky. So I wanted to show you what I was working on. So this is me with all my hair. <laughs> so this I'd say is halfway finished because I've got to do a lot more to it. And this is another me that's also halfway finished. And I have a habit of starting something with a painting if I don't if it's not a commission I just sort of I just do it and then I'm like oh I'll finish it later so today we are going to do a portrait I want to base it on Leonardo da Vinci um, and he said Michelangelo <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci he painted the Mona Lisa and the Mona Lisa is a famous painting where this lady is staring and when you're in the gallery and you're looking at the painting it's like the eyes follow you round it's really cool so we've got pencil paper and we're gonna do a big portrait of a woman doesn't have to be a woman we can change it into a man but first thing you're gonna need you want it portrait the papers called portrait like that and then that would be landscape so we're having it up high today Pencil, paper, let's go. So we want to do an oval. Kind of like that, just think egg. Just think egg, chunky, fine. Now, you've probably seen people do this before, so it's all the same kind of way of doing it. But you want to do a line across. So it's almost in the middle, but more high up. And then you want going down a little bit more, a line about there, doesn't matter if you don't get exact, it's fine. And then about, probably a line about there. So think about three lines, do it very lightly, we're going to rub this out, so do it quite lightly. And then wherever you want the head facing is where you do the straight line down. So if you want it in the middle, the face will be straight on looking at you like that. But if you want it kind of at an angle, that line is not going to be in the middle. Can you see? So it's kind of like that. That would be in the middle. So we're going to do it here. Can I kind of do it? So it's not in the middle. It's more here. Really easy now. Like, it's so easy. I find the hard bit to make it look realistic when we paint it. But to actually draw it and set it up, pretty easy. So now you want to think eyes. Now, rainbow leave a gap and then a rainbow depends how much of a gap and how big you want the eyes but then you're going to do an upside down rainbow upside down rainbow then you want to do inside the eye so if you look at my eye you've got all the i mean you've got so much detail of an eye you've got the eyelashes you've got the iris you've got the pupil you've got the tear duct so let's start off with Quite fun it's like drawing my own face so look, you'd get a mirror and draw your own face couldn't you so let's start with that tear duct thing just do a little bit there then you want to go out out so those are like my eyelids there then you're gonna do this is quite advanced if you're small keep it simple just do any eyes you like so you don't have to have all this detail but I think I'm gonna do it so you can add the detail because it's quite fun. So you want an eyelid underneath, eyelid underneath, so like the, the these, can you see, there. Now you don't necessarily want to put massive eyelashes on but if you do want to put an eyelash it starts off small and it's always longer when you get to the end. So small, longer when you get to the end and then eyelashes you don't see that many but they come from the bottom don't do that many though no need small and they're at an angle and they go like that if you do them all the way across they look a bit like spiders if you can't see this video i might move it nearer just so you can see how i've done the eye can you see okay right so 
Now we're gonna do inside. You're gonna have the pupa, the iris, nice and big, nice and big. And then you want the pupil, the black bit. So I'm gonna color that in just so I know it's a different color kind of thing. So there's the pupil, which is a small bit, the iris, all of the eye there. Now I like eyebrows make the face really, make the face look awesome, but we don't need to put add it in right now. Right, we wanna just, well we could add it in actually, let's add it in. So if you look at my eyebrows, take my glasses off, it's about, it's like, it's always like a rainbow. So just keep it simple, rainbow, rainbow. You've always got a gap between the eye. Now I like doing my, my eyebrows chunky and then it goes thin. They're not always like that, but we can just do that because it keeps it simple. Once you've done that, we're gonna go down like this. So think about this line. This is where your nose is gonna come from, but we're coming from here. So we're going la 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 la. And then just doing a little nose shape. Now, I've got quite a big nose if I'm honest. I think anyway and if you want a smaller nose you could just make it smaller but I like to go down do a curve and then like that so don't make it too complicated because the moment you make the nose too detailed it gets a bit difficult and then you just think oh I can't do it now underneath here you've got this it looks like a moustache if you draw it which you do not want to draw unless you want a moustache so we're not gonna draw that, but we're gonna be aware that there's a line there, there's a gap. And the gap's about here. So this bit's the bottom of the, the mouth. So what I would do personally is, you know this line? Just do a line like that. Just do a line that goes probably more here and a little bit there. So a little bit there, and you've got this line already, big bit there. Now we're going to create the lips. So we're just going to keep them simple. A m, so like a m across, like that. And then we're going to do, you don't have to touch this bit. If you don't want to, you don't have to touch that bit. You can make them thinner, bigger, whatever you like. Now that's your basic setup. If it's a boy, Boys and men still have eyelashes, but it always looks girly when you add them in on an art thing, unless you're really doing it detailed. So maybe with the boy, I would just do this type of mouth, depending on how you're doing a portrait. So say that this is the boy, I'll do this. Which might look weird, but it's less girly. <coughs> Pardon me. It's less feminine. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you're happy with it. But we're doing a woman in this one and you might want to ha not have the eyelashes doesn't really matter too much men might have bigger eye eyebrows perhaps more bushy ones so you can change little bits about your picture now i want to shape this face so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start on the top here we're going to go down 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 when you get to about there which is almost like the egg you're gonna go straight down till you hit this line. So straight down like that. When you hit this line, you carry on the circle that you've already got, you know, the egg. Then you're gonna shape this. So you're gonna go, you're gonna shape that. If that's too difficult, always remember that it's straight down like Depends what shape face you've got, but it's straight down, and then you kind of have a jaw. So that's what we're trying to do, the jaw. So if this is hard, just keep it simple, don't worry. So straight down, round, and then this is your chin, and then I could add this if I like, I could just go, whoa. So this is now quite a long chin, but I actually quite like it. So I'm gonna get my trusty rubber, so get your, you probably don't need the rubber. If there's too many lines, it's because you need to make those darker so you can see what you've got. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use the lines actually. Do you know what, I'm not gonna rub out. So now you wanna do the neck. So you know this line? Just do a line like that. Cause that's where your neck's gonna be. 
and then you want a line going out so line down and then touch somewhere on the line there of the neck and just go down okay we're nearly done because all we have to do is the hair so what you have to do is you know this line here we're going to just do a little line there and a little line there so it's going out of the can you see i think you can see it we're going out of the oval and a little bit out there right hair on your head is higher than your actual head if that makes sense so we're just going to do a line follow me now when you do it going to go down 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 this is her long hair so you're going down then you want to touch the end of that you're going to make it rounded because we want to make it look like she's got a hairline like if i parted my hair i'd have that so we want to then go round. This is now going in that shape. So all this is hair. So you would rub out all of that, but I don't really need to because I'm going to do dark hair, so I don't need to. Then this part of the hair makes it look like really awesome and come to life. So around we go again and then touch this bit here. So I'm just touching until I get to the egg shape that we did. This bit can go around. It's not that big. So there's her hair on that one. Now to round this off, we could just add a top, another bit there. So it doesn't really matter. Her shoulder here would be coming out there. So you could do another shouldery bit, but it doesn't really matter. So she's got a long piece of hair there but hair behind her body. If you wanted to continue it, you just can. Right, this is really important because we're going to start to colour it in now. So if this was a boy and you didn't want a woman, and then you just make the hair, because boys have long hair as well, but you could make the hair shorter and funky and really awesome and do an ear. So it's up to you. Uh, but have a go at the woman anyway. Even if you don't want to do a woman, have a go at the woman and see how you get on. So this is what I would do. I'd get my colour that it's never going to be close to my skin that much. And depending on what colour your skin is, choose a colour that's that looks like you would be nice, maybe. So I'm choosing this because I'm quite light. And I would probably colour the whole face in. If you choose a dark brown don't go over the nose just kind of go round the nose because otherwise it will be difficult to see what you've got so dark brown do what i'm doing but don't go over your nose just kind of go round your nose would be kind of cool remember that the neck is still the same color as the face so then i'll smudge away you'll find that even if you do a bit of a light brown you can still see the nose once you smudge it if you're using chalks. If you're not using chalks, it might be <clears throat> a bit trickier. Okay, so you've got that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to give her, I'm going to give her really cool green eyes. Now the colour of the eye doesn't go in here, it goes in the bobble. So it goes in the cookie. So just colour that. That looks kind of cool. Now think about a lip. The lip's not necessarily red, but you could if you want. I'm going to choose a colour that looks... It's kind of like that colour. It's a bit too red in some ways, but I'm going to outline it. And I'm going to smudge. But if you think, oh no, that's too pink, you can put white on top if you've got a chalk pastel. And make it look like it's more 3D and more realistic. Now... Don't worry too much about the eyelashes. You can go over those again in probably coloured pencil if you like, black coloured pencil. But I'm going to do the probably the the clothes. Let's do choose. I, I find that fun choosing a piece of clothing. Just think it's quite a fun thing to colour in. So I'm doing blue, but you can do any colour you desire. I'd like to do a more advanced face and I might do it so 
some other time, but I want to keep it simple for you now because it can be quite tr challenging if you're a bit younger. Then I'm going to get an awesome dark brown for the hair. If you've done dark brown for the skin, you could do black, awesome black for the hair. It's up to you. So I'm going to outline like the hairline and then I'm going to fill it in. So it kind of looks cold and it's dark. Woo. Whoa. Okay. Oh, she kind of looks a little bit like when my mum was younger. <laughs> um, and then the eyebrows. The eyebrows aren't always the same colour as the hair, but you can add those in. I've made them chunkier because I kind of feel like they look better. Then, I'm going to smudge away. Now remember, if you're using watercolour pencil, it's slightly different. You don't smudge your finger. You just colour it all in and then put water on top. And the same for the oil pastel. Just smudge with your finger. And paint, you're just going to paint your normal colours on. Okay, now obviously all this would be taken away. Like you'd take the guidelines away before you colour it in. If you haven't done that, it doesn't matter. You could just maybe mix that into your picture. It's okay. Now, I wouldn't mind having some shadow, so I'm going to get a colour that's a bit like, I wonder if I should get, yeah, it's a bit like the skin colour but darker, and I'm just going to outline a bit of shadow, so everyone's got a bit of shadow under their eyes, I've got quite a lot at the moment, a bit of a chin, a bit of a shadow under there, you might want to add cheeks, then maybe round the head a little bit as a shadow. So you just have a bit of fun adding shadow in. And as I say, the hair can be blonde, it can be brown, it can be any colour you like. But you want her to look happy. And if she doesn't, then it's not too much of a problem, but it's nice, isn't it, to have a happy face. Right, so you've roughly got your woman there, or your girl. I think she looks quite young, which is quite nice, because it could look like you if you're doing it and you're a girl. Right, what I would do now is I would take a black and I'd kind of have a go at outlining the eyes and the, you don't have to do this and it kind of looks cool if you don't anyway. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing it but it's easy to get a bit messy so it's up to you if you want to try. Yeah, it can get a bit messy. It depends how small you've drawn it. I wouldn't outline too much of the nose. Just like a little bit, just so you can see it. And then some of the eyebrows with more lines. And then maybe the mouth a little bit. Just to outline it a little bit. And then the hair. I'd have a go if it's dark brown the hair. Doing lines of black. If it's black hair, you could do lines of white. Just so it looks like it's shinier. But then if it's um, blonde the hair, you could do lines of maybe orange. Might turn ginger, which would be awesome. You could do ginger hair. But if you want blonde, you can maybe do white as well for the shadow, uh, for the lines. So that's roughly my my woman, if you or oh, my girl. If you want me to do a boy, because you're thinking, oh, it's going to be tricky to do it in the way I've done it, but a boy, let me know. But it is the same principle. I would say that bit here might need to go out a little bit more and the awesome thing about a face is that you can sort of change it as you go along it's fine so there's my woman there's my little girl and I'd say she probably looks about 13 maybe and as I say do not worry about these lines if they show up and you don't like them you can rub them out I'd make her I'd make her shoulders a bit more coming out there and you could do some cool decorative things on the clothes that would be awesome and maybe you could do a rainbow in the background you could do every one of your family like that but with different hair have a go have some fun with it I'm really pleased with her I'm gonna call her I was gonna say Cassandra I'm gonna call her Anna I'm gonna call her Anna because she looks a little bit like my friend actually <laughs> so yeah have a bit of fun with it and see how you get on and uh, yeah, send me pictures like you normally do because it looks awesome and subscribe and share and I'll see you tomorrow.